The Bavarian Soviet republics were a fascinating chapter in the history of Germany and the broader European socialist movement. Born out of the turbulence of post-World War I Germany, the Bavarian Soviet republics were short-lived but had a profound impact on the political landscape of the time. In this article, we delve into the rise, brief existence, and eventual fall of the Bavarian Soviet republics. Background, Germany after World War I. The end of World War I in 1918 saw Germany's defeat and the abdication of Emperor Wilhelm II. The country was plunged into political chaos with various factions vying for power. The German Revolution of 1918 to 1919 resulted in the establishment of the Weimar Republic, a democratic government that replaced the monarchy. However, the Weimar Republic faced severe challenges, including economic instability, political polarization, and widespread discontent among the working class. The Rise of the Bavarian Soviet Republics The discontent and revolutionary fervor that swept across Germany during this period also found fertile ground in the state of Bavaria. The Independent Social Democratic Party and the Communist Party of Germany gained considerable support among the working class and radical elements in Bavaria. These parties aim to establish a socialist state that would end social inequality and empower the working class. Amidst this backdrop, on April 7, 1919, the Bavarian Soviet Republic was declared in Munich, led by the radical socialist Kurt Eisner, who had been assassinated a few months earlier. The republic was initially founded as a parliamentary democracy. However, the increasing influence of the communist KPD faction led by Ernst Toller soon transformed the government into a Soviet-style system based on workers' and soldiers' councils. The short-lived Bavarian Soviet Republics The establishment of the Bavarian Soviet Republics was met with resistance from conservative forces, including the Freikorps and the remnants of the German Imperial Army. The Freikorps, backed by the Weimar government, launched a military offensive against the Republic in late April 1919. Under the leadership of Ernst Toller, the Bavarian Soviet republics fiercely defended their cause but faced internal divisions and a lack of widespread support. The Soviet republic's economic policies were seen as radical and unsustainable, contributing to food shortages and economic hardships. As the Freikorps gained ground and Munich fell to their forces, the Bavarian Soviet republics collapsed in May 1919, less than a month after their inception. Thousands of supporters were arrested, and many leaders, including Toller, were sentenced to death or imprisoned. Legacy and Impact Despite its short existence, the Bavarian Soviet republics had a lasting impact on Germany's political landscape. The revolutionary experiment served as a warning to the conservative establishment about the potential of socialist uprisings, leading to increased repression of leftist movements. This polarization ultimately contributed to the political instability that plagued the Weimar Republic paving the way for the rise of extremist movements like the Nazi Party. The Bavarian Soviet republics were an ambitious attempt to establish a socialist state in the wake of World War I and the collapse of the German Empire. Though they were short-lived and ultimately unsuccessful, their memory endured as a symbol of revolutionary aspirations and a cautionary tale of the dangers of political extremism. The Bavarian Soviet republics remain an intriguing chapter in the history of Germany and a testament to the complexities of revolutionary ideals and their real-world implications.